All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today's update is going to be on the caddy, and today we're going to get the engine out. So to do that, I'm going to use this cradle that I just built. I'll just show you that. So all this is is the bottom part of a engine stand, and then I've just made this top bit. And these are the points which kind of pick up on the engine, so it can see. I think these two are gearbox, and those three are engine. I'll take you to the bottom of the cart. So those kind of points will go through there, there, and there. And then on the back, on the gearbox, it will go through that hole. And that last piece just rests, rests against this transfer case. So that should make getting the engine in and out quite simple. Because literally what I'll do is I'll drop it down onto the stand, unbolt the engine mounts, um, and then lift the car up a little bit and then I should just be able to slide it out the front and then getting it in will be the reverse of that so <sighs> again it should just make it a bit easier because with the engine crane it's difficult to get it kind of level and sat right and ends up being a real faff so this should make my life a little bit easier well here's fingers crossed anyway so let's get it in position and then get the uh the car down on it okay so I've undone all the wiring I've obviously put a card down on that stand, so that stand is now taking the weight of the engine. I've undone all the engine mounts. So I'm now ready to lift the car off. Hopefully it works and the engine doesn't fall over, we'll see. Bear with me. The engine seems relatively sturdy on that. Yeah, happy with that. Right, as you can see, the engine's now out. The engine cradle worked quite well. In terms of what next, I've got to finish off the bulkhead in terms of just blanking off any little holes and I have to finish mounting the steering rack and um, bolt the brake server. Once I've done all those pieces, I can get the engine back in and finish all the wiring. But I'll just take you over to Cradle just to see how that worked out. Right, as you can see, the engine does come out quite complete. Um, I'll just walk you around. I can even keep the, uh, the red dog bone mount on. So literally getting it back in is a bit of a doddle now. And obviously it sits nice and level now, so it's literally just a case of dropping the car over it and bolting, bolting up the mounts. Also, it will make it considerably easier to get the engine into the back of this. 
not just the caddy, but obviously I can position that cradle underneath the vehicle and then just drop the quarter down on top of it. So, yep, really happy with that. In terms of how I made it, very simple. So obviously this bottom piece, as I mentioned before, is just part of one of these engine stands. It's the bottom piece. Obviously that piece is now taken off. And then I built this box section um, kind of frame and try, try to triangulate it as much as I could. And then to make these little bits, which let's just try and get in there so you can see it properly. Which basically um, come up through different points of the engine and gearbox. I'm assuming they're kind of the factory um, cradle positions that they, that they use to get the engines and stuff in. But to make those, really simple, just some box section steel. Um, Oh, I cut up wheel bra brace and some wheel nuts. I'll just show you those. So all I literally did was took a wheel brace, cut the end off, welded a wheel bolt inside. So it's welded around the edge. Obviously that piece was cut off. And I took that whole assembly and st stuck it in there, which is, I think it's, this is 20 mil box. And then obviously welded around here. So then I had the whole assembly kind of wheel bolt, wheel brace, box section steel, and then just cut this to length and welded that onto this piece of box section in three different places. We've got one there, one there, and you can't really see that other one. Oh, you can, it's just there. And that's it. Really simple, but really effective. So again, yeah, that makes getting the engine in and out of the both Corrado and Caddy really simple. So that's the end of this video. Um, it was only a very quick update on where we are with the caddy. Um, hopefully I can get the steering rack and stuff finished so then the engine can go back in and we can start to make some decent progress. So as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next update. Cheers, bye.